This is Gormak Valley, west of Mazari Sharif and sandwiched between mountains and the Turkmenistan border. Lately, there's been a lot of change in this valley. It's here the Afghan government and coalition forces tackle the problems of gaining the locals' trust, increasing Afghan national police capabilities in the area, and defeating the Taliban. The answer? Build a bridge. The new bridge, technically a culvert, will give people a safe way to cross the Wadi River. The Wadi was literally a physical barrier between Gormak and the rest of the country. So no trucks could go in, no trucks could go out when it was uh, winter time and the, wadi, uh, the level, water level in the Wadi was real high. Uh, so that will eliminate that problem. This project will increase the quality of life for the villagers here. But perhaps more importantly, it's increasing the confidence residents have in their government. When we first arrived, um, the local population was very distrustful of the ANP due to the uh, population here being primarily Pashtun and the uh, ANP being primarily Uzbek. Taliban are usually Pashtun, so it's no surprise the locals identify more with the Taliban than their Uzbek police force. These soldiers mentored the Afghan National Police for months to combat this. Uh, no, they had zero credibility with the locals, and so that was basically our, our primary goal was just to get out, put those people in the community, and show them what right looks like. Hey, you can't be beating up the local population if you want them to trust you and you want them to uh, not kill you. The increased professionalism of the AMP coupled with the start of the bridge project, helped change the way the locals view their government and coalition forces. As you conduct engagements with the local uh, village elders, or even down to the, to the younger generation, everybody seems very excited that we are here. Everybody has been very supportive um, of the construction site, respectful of us being here. Uh, this is actually the most support we've had our entire time in theater. It's been amazing. Um, we've got air weapons team that go up multiple times a day. They've got foot patrols. Uh, we've got local nationals helping us out with uh, security itself, which the 184s help provide. Um, ANA, AMP, uh, it's, it's been amazing. We wouldn't be able to do what we're doing right now if it wasn't for them. The bridge should be completed in mid-November. And once it's done, this community will have a reliable way to trade goods and stimulate their economy. And the Taliban will have one less place to hide. Petty Officer Brandon Shelander, Gormak Valley, Afghanistan.